Oh, a very strong personality. He had the will to, to see ahead of all the possibilities of making carpet. Harry Dutfield was admired by everybody. He was known at the time of the factory as the governor. I knew him well as a, as a patient, um, but also as a local character whom I think everybody respected. His word was his bond. He rarely wrote things down, but if he said that something would happen, it jolly well did. He was uh, admired because of his uh, entrepreneurial spirit and because of the way he made things happen. He was very much a hands-on governor. He spent um, a lot of the time on the uh, shop floor. He knew pretty well all the workers and their problems and spent a part of every day just walking around being available to those who were actually at the sharp end. One of his greatest assets, I think, was that he was approachable and uh, if anybody had a problem, they would go and talk to him and get it sorted out. And I think for this reason, he d disapproved of middle management. He felt that if there was a problem, if he had middle management, he went through another stratum and that was an unnecessary obstacle in the solution of it. And he would far rather be a hands-on boss and uh, solve the difficulties there and then. A great man, the second great weaver of Axminster. Oh, he was a lovely man. Everybody liked him. He was a friend. He wasn't a boss. He was a friend. He'd come around and have a chat to you. And he was very sporty. And he liked all his workers to be sporty as well. Playing football and cricket. Yes, a lovely man he was. Everyone liked him. He was a big tall man. A real businessman, you know. Everything had to be just about right. and But um, very fair. Uh, just after I started work at the factory, uh, maybe two or three months, I suppose, the governor, Harry Duffel, he got married. So he gave us all, all the staff uh, a meal in the Gill's Cafe in the town, and then we went to a picture show at the cinema in the evening. We were quite chuffed about that. I always remember there going to the Gill's Cafe and having a little slap up meal. <laughs> got to the factory just in time. Well, he was always good to the town, very generous. If they wanted a bit of carpet at the Guild Hall, Harry Dutfield would provide it. If the hospital wanted a bit of carpet, Harry Dutfield would provide it. For nothing. Free. 